Um, what, from the start? Yeah, you know, don't take too long. Yeah, you know. turn up, car wasn't built. <laughs> Am I happy I've done formless student? Um, you have to basically sacrifice your whole life. We've had a pretty unsuccessful year. We were underprepared for pretty much everything. Dylan, Dylan, we need to test it. Listen, I'm not taking abuse for this year because I did nothing wrong. No, no, no. This is what I'm about to do. Stress. The pain we go through to finish this car. I love it personally. <laughs> <laughs> I can't describe how thankful I am that we have this documented. We got a lot out of last year. Mike me up, baby. If I'm allowed two words, I'll just call it a learning experience. Oh, wait, a learning experience. Don't get dizzy now. I feel like I can't breathe. What other catastrophic things could go wrong? It's not embarrassing. It is. Why the f is it embarrassing? It's not been enjoyable towards the end. Not enough people understand what former student is. Becoming a team again. We need to get that back. You know what we should do an intro to, to the CNC like um, a cover of uh, like guess who's back <laughs> back again <laughs> SPR's back <laughs> tell a friend uh, I need to like rhyme it more. Yeah. What's this? Dom. Dom, Dom was singing. Yeah. Dom. <laughs> season two. Season two. Season two. Currently, I'm team principal now. Um, I stepped up from deputy last year. It was me and Dion really passing the reins to Dom. There's no one better than Dom. He knows everything inside and out. He knows the car inside and out. Can't wait to see what Dom does with the team. I'm sure he'll, he'll do great. All of the responsibility is on me. And we've got, like I said, Cal taking care of the junior engineers. So that's a big chunk taken away from me. Stuart is chief engineer this year. Action. Is that a yeah, we're good. Yeah. Role last year, more of a consultant. I would say. Uh, so I sort of helped out on a bit of everything, um, gave advice where it's needed. This year has got to happen. We've got to do work. We've got a great chance of actually getting on track and competing. This year we are working with the junior engineers in a completely different way. Last year we did try to kind of get them integrated into a team and get them working on things, but it didn't really work out. But we've learned from that and put together a new way of getting them to integrate into a team. And so far it's working extremely well. Uh, way better than I expected. I think everyone's really excited about it and it's exceeding everyone's expectations. I'm Ben and I'm a junior engineer at South Bank Racing. Hi, my name is Katia and I'm a junior engineer at South Bank Racing. Kind of been thrown into a task, especially for me, that I don't know much about yet, but I'm quite excited to see what it teaches me and what I learn. I would say that maybe I have more experience than the vast majority. Before I could drive, I was modifying lawnmowers, turning them into go-karts, so I've always had a kind of obsession with speed. But it doesn't mean that I'm any better than anyone else, because someone willing to learn is just as good as me with the prior experience. I guess a uh, Formula student offers a more kind of interesting view on engineering, and it's more hands-on, and it's more applicable to real life. We come up with an idea for trying to integrate in the junior engineers into the team better. So we started off with presentations. So we give them a little research task. They'd go on and do a presentation to us at the end. Next meeting coming up that we've got um, with the rest of the team. I think that's when we're going to start being like, right, junior engineers, these are going to be your heads. This is what you're going to be doing. Give them all tasks, get it all done, give them deadline, and hopefully, Come February, we're, we're ahead of the game. Uh, we don't actually want them to know what they're working on until the very end. So like, we're gonna go through and we're gonna read out their names, put them in like the teams so they know who they're working with, but not what they're working on. And your head, power chain, is Justin. Your head is Cal. 
Good luck. <laughs> Cheers. And breaking. We didn't. Not that I'm aware of anyway. <laughs> yeah, so this is technically the first test of last year. I don't know, if the engine blows up then that's it, we just go home. We're gonna have a full fire team there, which will be me. <laughs> Don't look good on camera. Yeah, the main thing I suspect could go wrong is engine related stuff. So, yeah, the fuel roll just come off the intake, um, causing a fuel leak, which is yeah, probably the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> if it hits the hot exhaust, then the driver goes up in flames. We had a couple of problems starting the car in the lab the last uh, week that's just gone past. It doesn't like the battery. Like, no, it sounds low. It sounds the battery sounds low. So, the situation is we're fixing the car. So the fuel pressure sensor uh, was hanging a bit too low and the conduit surrounding it was uh, melting. It was started smoking so we just killed the engine. We're uh, moving it higher up from, away from the exhaust. Not great though, is it? It's not a good look for the electrical team. Running you the know, fuel rail on the exhaust. That's that's mad. We've had a uh, leak in the uh, one of the water pipes going from the radiator to the engine. Um, so we've managed to fix that now. We're just waiting for the epoxy to go off uh, where the hole was. Um, and then we can fit it all back together. And then hopefully we should be all good to go. Oh, you were coming today? Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world, mate. As Dom was driving, uh, he came round on this this corner, and the engine started revving a lot more, and then shut down. Fuse. Blood fuse. Yeah. Can we make a decision as a group? Everybody knows the facts. The ECU keeps on pulling over 10, am 10 amps, and. We keep on replacing the fuse. There's no more fuses. Basically, um, we can either run and with the potential of cooking the ECU, or not run and save the ECU for this year. We'll have to go back to the lab, test things and everything, but um, yeah. Taking a negative to a positive, we found a fault that we can fix. So, eventually. <laughs> uh, we got about seven laps in. Uh, Joe drove, I drove, and few problems here and there in the beginning, we fixed them, uh, but then, yeah, something with the electrical system, we were started blowing fuses on the ECU. Since it's not sewer stone, you know, we're, we're quite happy. I mean, not, not happy that it broke, but you know, we're not as disappointed because this is what testing is for. We just go out, troubleshoot it, test it, and we go back and try to fix it and make it better next time. I told you we'd make testing, Harry. <laughs> Sometimes I think about it and it's still like, no, like that hasn't actually happened. There's no way. This really is the biggest example of anything can happen. SPR is now officially sponsored by 